Today I'm gonna to make one of my favorite lunches using the Hot Logic Mini. I'm gonna make hot dogs and beans. We got Bush's beautiful baked beans for breakfast, baby. We got brown sugar, an onion if you like it, and some ballpark Angus Franks. And if you know about the Hot Logic, you know why I love it, and maybe you love it too, because I got a lot of things to do today, and I'm just gonna open this up. This is a Hot Logic Mini personal portable oven. I'm sure you know that already. Inside of this one, we have a six cup Pyrex dish. Heating element in the bottom, see, heating plate. We've used these to cook chicken from frozen. We've cooked whole meals in here all day. I'm gonna put all my delicious ingredients into here, starting with the bushes, big beans. This is gonna be my lunch. I have things to do today, like get the car inspected and do some shopping. Maybe rake up some of them leaves, I don't know, if it gets dry out there. But, I had to share this with you. This is what I wanted for about a week and I was thinking about making it and finally I'm going to do it. Look at that. Do you love that? Bush's Big Beans, secret family recipe. Ooh, burgers and beans, I like that idea too. I'm going to chop up that onion. And these hot dogs, you know how we like these in hot dogs and beans? Beanies and weenies or whatever you call them, franks and beans. I like to cut them up in like one inch pieces. I'm going to do that with half of them and the other half I'm going to leave whole in case I want one on a roll, okay? How's that sound? Mm -hmm. You want to help me chop this onion? You know you can do better than I do. <laughs> I'm a backyard chef. Everything easy is how I do it, see? Easy, easy. Shade tree chef. How does that sound? I like that better. Just chop these however you like. Maybe you don't want onions at all, that's okay too. These are gonna cook nice and soft. And the good thing about the Hot Logic is, I could be making this and take it to work and plug it in. And by the time it's lunch time, I'm gonna have a nice home cooked meal. If it was frozen or raw, we did many chicken recipes where the chicken was frozen. Yeah, three, four, five hours. As long as you want to leave it in there, it's going to be the perfect serving temperature. You can't overcook it. You can't burn it. Okay. Am I a good cutter? Put some of them in there. Oh, that's going to be so good. <laughs> that was the hardest part. We cut these doggies open. And Hot Logics are great gift ideas right now for this holiday season. We gave a few people gifts like this and, and they're amazing. And they love it and they appreciate it. And I had this one for about five years, this one right here. But I got different colors. We got black, we got orange, we got a big red family size, we got teal. We got the other one who expands. This top opens up and you can put all your utensils in there and stuff. I'll show you that or maybe you saw it already. So, is this how you make yours? Did you ever make these? Isn't that gonna be good? Put them in there. Ooh, somebody lost one. And I was thinking of putting a couple whole ones in there. In case I want them a, a roll, you know, because I got new rolls too. Let's do that, okay? A couple like that. Let's see how they come out. I'm gonna mix them up a little too. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Maybe get three whole ones in case we get company. I ain't got enough. Oh, did you forget what this was? A little brown sugar. Oh, let me stir this around a little bit, get them covered up somewhat. I can't wait. See? Maybe that's a little too many beans, but you'll be happy at the end for sure. Too bad I'm not going to be home. I'll be back home around noon. Right now it is 6.45 a.m. So you could have done this before you went to work 
leave it plugged in and come home and have a nice supper or dinner. Take it to work, take it shopping. I also have a 12 volt model that plugs into your car. Do I have that one here? You know, with the adapter that plugs right into your power port on your car, they make them too. Brown sugar on top. Oh. See? What a gourmet recipe this turned out to be. Right? I'm just going to close that. And when I open it later after my errands, at lunchtime, you're going to see what it looks like. Just like that, okay? All we do is cover it up. And you could put frozen food containers in here too, like the cardboard that some of the frozen food containers come in, or the plastic containers, or foil. I already reheated pizza in here, just wrapped in foil. Pull the plug out of the back. Or, first of all, take it somewhere. Take it to work, take it to a party, take it to a Christmas party. Your snacks. Sometimes we have four or five of these lined up with different things, mashed potatoes and corn and whatever. Helps for your buffet. Also, you can remove that heating element and use it as a warming plate, a hot plate for your table. Okay, it's plugged in, it's done. Wasn't that easy and great? Stop back and see me eat this. I can't wait. Okay, what do I have to do? Car inspection, go to the store. Maybe we have to leave, maybe not. Watch some TV, take a nap. Check the link in the video description, save 20% with my code today. And they ship really quick too. All right, I'll show you these when they're done. Remember what it looked like, right? <laughs> Thanks, I'll be right back. Okay, it's just about four hours later. I didn't touch it. I got the car inspected easily. Went to the store, played the lottery. I kicked the leaves around a little bit, but they're still too soggy to rake up. So I'm gonna unplug this. And you remember what's in here, don't you? Mm, let's see, how's it look? Look good to you? Yeah. Whoa. And it smells good now. Onions and brown sugar, I remember I put in there. Let me put some of them out on a plate to sample for you. Here's my plate. Just spoon some of them out, all right? Because it's going to be good. Want some like that? Ooh. You want a big hot dog too? Yeah, I got a roll back there. Good idea. Have a hot dog and bean on a bun. Oh, you missed it. There it is. <laughs> I'm working alone. My tripod's alive. Where's my roll? Where's my bun? Is it a bun or a roll? Oh, it says rolls on the bag. Okay, so here we go. Want one of these two? I do. Take that nice hot dog there. Put it on there. Some onions and beans. Mm. Oh, you want that too, right? Let's go take a taste of that. That's like a cowboy lunch, isn't it? Let me put the lid on this and I can keep it plugged in for the next person that comes home and it will stay that same temperature all day long. It's like the temperature of low on a slow cooker, you know? Perfect. All right, look at this. Oof. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, the brown sugar. That was the secret on this one. Remember I said they had them that you could plug into your car? Oh, I have one like that, see? That's handy for RVs or boats or lawn tractors. I already cooked something on my John Deere with a Hot Logic. I have a video of that. You check out my Hot Logic playlist. I have 74 videos on there of recipes and ideas. Well, 75 now, because I'll put this on that playlist. Remember, they have the family size as well. It's not a commercial. I'm just showing you that we use them a lot. That's a great gift. What if I put mustard on this? Would that be good? Taste it without first. Hot dog and bean sandwich. Hot dog and beans on a run. Or hot dogs and beans on a roll. 
Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. Yeah, mustard is good with beans. Sometimes we put it in our baked beans, right? Might even be in Bush's baked beans. I don't know, baby. Well, we're going to be busy this week, getting ready for the holidays and relaxing, taking naps, and watching what we eat. <laughs> Try this in your hot logic. If you have a hot logic, if not, get one. There's a link down there. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Try this. It's delicious. This is my breakfast. Yeah, it's not even 11 o'clock yet. Early lunch. It's okay. I'm hungry. See ya. Mmm.